So here's a question. Are these space heaters safe for RV use? Well, in this episode, we're taking this and our trailer to a fire station and we are getting proper answers. everybody so we are here at the fire station and with me is Chris Millet. Chris is the chief at the Lennart Fire Company. Lennart Fire Company. In Haverford. Thank you very much for that. No problem, no problem. Either. So I wanted to talk with, with you and when I reach out because I see a lot of people now it's winter it's getting pretty cold. Yeah. A lot of people camping outside with the little space heater Many of them use this uh, propane heater. Mr. Buddy seems to be the most popular one. Yep, yep. Uh, I have seen so many tests online, but I have never seen anything that is accurate. So people use the household carbon monoxide detector, the, yep. the smoke detector. I've seen those same videos. Yeah, so I thought that why don't we do something a little bit more accurate? And here we are. And here we are. So why don't you tell me what are we hoping to do today? What, what's the plan? So today we are going to run the heater. Um, we're going to actually monitor it with a, a meter that's a little more efficient and accurate than the household ones yeah. that we use here at the fire department. And it not only will it tell us the carbon monoxide levels inside the, cam the camper at the time, but it'll also tell us the oxygen levels, which I think may be a little more relevant to this test than anything else. This meter has the ability to um, record and detect the O2 levels, oxygen. It also does carbon monoxide, the CO, as well as low explosive limits. Mm -hmm. So we brought a, a little space heater and we're gonna set it inside the trailer. Then we are gonna do this test. We're gonna close it up and let it run in for a while. And we're gonna see what happens. All right, let's okay. see. What, what are your predictions? What do you think is gonna happen? My prediction is that as long as the heater is functioning properly, that I'm not as concerned about the carbon monoxide levels. I'm more concerned about the oxygen levels that are gonna occur because while this thing is being used, it's using oxygen. And with the trailer being closed up, it's gonna slowly start to deplete that oxygen in the camper. I know that the uh, Mr. Heater buddy uh, little Buddy has a sensor in it that should shut off with low O2, but I'm just curious as to how low does the O2 get before it shuts off. That's one of the things I wanted to discuss with you because we have accurate equipment, mm -hmm. but people should have just common sense, right? Yes. And always try to stay, uh, stay safe. This heater might be working perfectly, but what if it's not and you don't know? And you we don't have know. The accurate and there's equipment. always that chance that it may not. So that, that's what we're going to err on the side of caution. And we're going to see what the test results are. All right, let's okay. do it. Okay, let's okay. go. So Chris, uh, one of the things that I noticed is that the instructions for these are incredibly vague. Yes. So what are we doing here? How are we going to set it up? Well, number one, we typically say follow manufacturer's recommendations, mm -hmm. but in this point, there is a little confusion as we go on. So again, hopefully this test will help sort some of that out. Um, when you do use it regardless, you want to make sure you have at least 24 inches of clearance in the front of the in unit, the front. Um, because that's where the heat is being projected. Um, and we obviously don't want to cause a fire. It does have the ability to shut itself off should it tip over. Mm -hmm. And it also has a low oxygen sensor that should shut it off as well. So, um, and we're just gonna see how low that oxygen gets before it potentially shuts itself off with the uh, meters. All right, let's do it then. Okay. So this is what we have here. We have the heater and we have the multi-gas meter here. We are also setting up a camera here which we can look and activate with our phones. We're gonna leave it running. Uh, and eventually one of our firefighters is going to come in, check the levels, and then we can talk about it. Let's do it. So one more thing to mention is that 
you should never use the space heater on a table, of course. You wanna set it up in the floor. Uh, for the sake of this demonstration, we are setting it up on the table so we can put the camera, so we can look at it through the window. Um, but yeah, never use it on a table. Did you hear that? Crazy is coming for you if you do it. So we reached the end of our little Mythbuster We test. did reach the end. Um, uh, we ran the, the heater until? We were out of propane. Yeah. Um, what were the results? The results on the meters were we had negative alarming sound. So no carbon monoxide, no low oxygen levels. So it was relatively safe. Um, it was safe here the entire yep, time. Today it was safe. Yep. Something good to mention, Chris, it's like, um, I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but this whole table is wet. The water was actually dripping on the, sides of the, on the side of the table when we came in. Why is this happening? Uh, propane ex emissions actually do cause a high condensation um, when they do, when it starts to burn off. And if you feel it right now, it feels very humid it feels in very the RV humid right humid. now. It is possible that that wouldn't occur as much if we did have the uh, appropriate openings open during the mm -hmm. test. At this time, we, we tested it with the RV closed completely. Mm -hmm. um, they recommend at least nine square inches of um, fresh air intake. So that might have an effect on how much dampness and humidity is uh, emitted by the heater itself. Yeah. Or, we don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I would say, although I understand why many RVers like to use this, especially when they are boondocking. Sure. You know, um, no electricity yep. required, less propane usage than, than running the foreigners. So I see why a lot of people um, like them. However, I personally wouldn't feel, wouldn't feel comfortable. And with me and my family, I would use it to chase a chill out of their um, RV but I would not use it overnight. But that's just my personal preference, just knowing what could happen. Yeah. It is a potential. And, and you know, another thing to mention, we ran this test and we had the appropriate type of equipment. We had a unit that is brand new. Yeah. So it's working properly. Yeah. But you never know when tragedy is going to hit you. It could happen at any time. And if your heater is maybe getting a little older, you don't have the proper equipment to to measure the the levels in the air so yeah and one of the things that i did read about um the mr heater buddy systems were if people choose to use the 20 gallon tanks with the extension hose to make sure that they have a filter in line with that hose because the propane actually can potentially break down the hose mm. and it can clog it causing the system not to work correctly as it is so that's another thing to take into consideration and while the test results were negative, uh, we want to emphasize to everybody to use extreme caution anytime you're using any heater device, not just the Mr. Heater buddy system itself. Um, make sure it's clear of any combustible materials and just, uh, especially with kids, make sure that they stay clear of it as well when they're in the camper. We're not, we don't have a lot of room in here yeah, to run definitely. around and it's something that's that hot with smaller children you really have to be careful with. Yeah. We want to thank Chris for his time. Thank you so much. No for problem. My these. pleasure. Um, um, we learned so much today. It was actually fun. It was. It was a lot of fun. We also want to uh, thank the Lenard Fire uh, Company for allowing us to be here, bring our big trailer to the station. That was actually a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I'm glad it was. <laughs> thank you for having us. And yeah, we want to continue this RV um, 
fire safety so please let us know in the comments if you like this kind of content if you have more questions for Chris in upcoming episodes and yeah my name is Eli and I'm Chief Chris Malay this is our Coast and we will see you on the next one